As each day of the COVID-19 pandemic passes, it poses challenges to the way we shop and work and pray as a community. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith talks with Bishop Douglas Lucia on ways to keep the faith. For me, the last maybe few weeks has, has really been a, a learning experience, a growing experience. Because even in my own life, I've had to sort of find myself adapting. Along with many local leaders, Bishop Lucia of the Syracuse Catholic Diocese has had to make some tough decisions to ensure the safety and well-being of the whole community. I've had to ask that even our churches not be open for prayer because I really need people to stay home. Mm -hmm. and, and that's been a hard decision, but I really, I think we're at a uh, crucial point in the fighting of this virus. He encourages everyone to continue social distancing and to look at it simply as a selfless way we can care and love our neighbors. I just think that's a very practical thing that maybe this is also an occasion where we, instead of just thinking about, and if we're not feeling that great, maybe we have to just say, okay, maybe I just have to stop thinking about myself all the time and think about, well, how could I make life better for someone else? He says despite the challenges of this year's Easter weekend, it's a call for each of us to pray, connect with one another, and reflect. You know, so many years people have said to me, oh, Father, uh, when I was praying with Father, um, it's so hard to um, do Good Friday because we've got to work, we've got to do this. Well, this year we don't. It's that opportunity for us to step back and to really go to that, as Jesus would say to us, to that out of the way place and just to really pray, to, to reflect. Keeping the faith during life's greatest storms. Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. And this Sunday, News Channel 9 will be airing the celebration of Easter Mass for the Syracuse Diocese at 6 and 9 a.m.